We must be in Perth because it's blowing again. How windy is Perth these days? But you can still go fishing. And when you do go fishing, you need that. You need a friend. A friend who's prepared to go and dig through the mud here at Canning Bridge for worms. Because we're going whiting fishing. As soon as it gets dark, we're heading east for a mantle. We're going to show you some great whiting fishing. But first, let's have a look at how we get our worms. Now, just any old garden worm isn't going to do. We need blood worms. And that's a blood worm right there. They live in the river mud. And you can actually dig for these. It's quite legal here in the Canning or the Swan River. That's a beautiful blood worm. Look how long it is. We use them whole and the whiting just love them. Have a look at Ryan, eh? Don't you wish you had a friend like that? Or a sucker, perhaps. It's a good idea to have one sucker, I mean person, digging the worms while the other sorts through the mud for them. It's best just to scratch around them with your fingers because if you pull too hard, they can break and that's no good. Yeah, the water's pretty cold. Looks like it's cold anyway. That's a final result. Lots of nice blob worms, lots of pippies, all nice and clean, ready for the East Frio whiting. But one more thing before we go, we'll get a shovel, get all this sand back in the water, leave the banks the way we came. The flats around East Fremantle are the ideal place to target yellowfin whiting. These are the rarest of all whiting corn in WA, but that's simply because people don't target them with fresh baits and at night. During the day, blowfish would drive you mad, but after dark they go to sleep and the whiting move onto the flats to feed. This is what it's all about now. Here we are, East Fremantle, on the flats at night. What the hell are we doing? <laughs> I'm following him. I didn't even wear my booties. But uh, we got some nice shells underfoot, plenty of sand. This is whiting country. We're going to cast out into the deep water and hopefully there's uh, none of those Swan River sharks we've heard so much about. Yep, on. I think that's a brim, a little tar wine there, Ryan. Yeah, that's good. Your first fish of the night. Oh, first fish of the night. Well, I'm Me going to touch here as well, Steve. Means I'm going to rebait, though. They don't fight all that hard when they're about 400 metres. Here we go. <laughs> Check this out. Bit of night fishing on the flats. How good's that? Now with these, you got to watch them because they've got nice spines that come out of their head. I don't know if you can see those two little pincers. They're live, of course. They're pretty simple creatures, but uh, they don't mind grabbing you and giving you a good old bite. So I just wind the bait up the hook like that. The whole thing, really. Whiting just love them. Especially whole and especially live. Look at that. Fantastic, all the way at the shank. Being careful to keep your fingers away from the pointy bit, because if this thing latches onto you, well, it's not one of life's more pleasant experiences, I'll put it that way. Now in the water, have a look. Look at that. That'll just sit down there in the water, on the bottom, just like a worm, and they'll think it's Christmas. But little do they know, it's attached to Steve. What are we doing out here? <laughs> this doesn't look right. And all you have to do is just let it sit there. Finger, just like a trigger, feeling for bites. That's all you need. And when you feel the tap tap, you just give a little, little twitch. Don't have to rip the fish's head off. Brian, better, better fish, but I think it's still a tarwine. He's fighting pretty hard. You never know. Really? Yeah, sometimes you pick it for a uh, tar wine, and before you know it, it's a whiting. It generally takes a little bit of extra line, so it may be a tar wine. Eh? It's got some weight, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's a tar wine. It is a tar wine. Bigger than the first. Hey, look, I really put a lot of time into that bait. That's pretty cheeky. And you've taken the whole thing too. <sighs> Naughty tar wine. Go on, go away. Hey friends, just stay away from me.
Now, of course, this is all about feel. That's why I use Fireline Braid, but I've got a mono leader tied to that, a small running ball sinker tied off with a swivel, and a leader that's about a metre long, down to a number 10 long shanked worm hook. That's all you need, make sure it's nice and sharp. And uh, simple rigs, but lots of nice fish. Oh, Ryan, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, mate, but I'm getting all the tail wine. Well, I'm not even getting a bite at this stage, but that could be a good thing. That means that maybe you're big whiting out there just waiting to get my bait. Well, I've seen you do that before. Ooh, going for it now. Even this is great fun. Look at that. They're hard fighting fish, these tail wine, even the small ones. You get a big one on, you'll know about it. You on? Steve, Steve, I just had a, had a good hit just then, which I think... I oh, think he's this, going, he's going. Oh, this is good. I think this one may be our first whiting for the night. Gee, they really go hard, don't they? Well, they do, considering that I, I haven't got my, my drag back too much off because there's some rocks just out there, Steve, so... Not, not like Ira, when he goes broom fishing, he, he puts it on two... Oh, nice! I think, yeah. Steve, um, it's a tall core. Hopefully it won't make a fool of me, but I think this may be a yellowfin whiting. It won't make a fool of you, mate. You, I think you it's do coming that. on your side there, Steve. He's going for a wander along. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It looks white. Oh, no, it's a big tar oh, wine. Big tar wine. I called oh, that one for the bad. camera, too. That one, really? So I said, the fish don't make a fool of you, mate. You make a fool of yourself. That's a good fish, though. You've got to be happy with that, even though you're yeah. after whiting. Look at that for a tar wine. Unlike gear, that's excellent. No matter where Ryan's fishing, you can count on his deputy Steve helping out somehow. Today, he was Worm Boy. No, it's all right. He's on. Hopefully this time it won't return the hook back to me empty. <laughs> well, mate, there's plenty of whining here. The problem is we can't get through the tar wine. It's, it's actually been a fish a cast, hasn't it? That's the only downside. Yeah, it's fun catching uh, tar wine, but when you want to get the whiting, it's just, yeah, as you said, trying to get through these tar wine's hard. I'm not going to call this one, but the amount of tail I've been getting, I'd say maybe a tail one. It's, it's a real problem when you're getting one fish every cast, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's right, exactly. It's a good one, though. Look at the size of that. Not That'd bad. be legal. 23 centimetres is a legal length, I think, and that's pretty close. On four pound gear. Yeah, <laughs> good fun. It's all good. Tap, tap. Yep. This is different. It's very different. Oh, it's a whiting. It is. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. Now, is that a yellowfin whiting? Yes, it is, I think. Oh, it's not one of the bigger ones that you see here, but it is a yellowfin whiting. Have a look at that. You'll probably be able to see it. Oh, she's a slimy. Come here, come here, come here, come here. In the light, I didn't even expect it. It's not a very big one. It didn't go very hard, but they have these yellow fins just under here. Quite different from a lot of other whiting that you see. And that's it, that's what we came here for. Yellowfin whiting on the flats. We want a bigger one. I can feel the strength of him though. He's pretty awesome. Have a look at that right down there, look. It's always a way. Steve's just taken off there to re-rig because I think he got done in by a silver bread. I'm getting a bite. This is a good bite. Come on, that was a whiting, that was a big tap, tap, tap. Which is often what the whiting do with a silver brim, they mouth it, they play around with it. Come on. Is he on? He is on. He was only, I think, in shallow. There he is. It's, okay, he's only a small whiting, that's probably why I expected a bit of a run. But, that's what Steve and I came here to chase. Yellowfin whiting. Look at that. In the Swan River, he really is a small specimen, but great eating. Whoop. Whoa, there you go. Look at that. In the water, great eating. And that's what we came here to see. Good touch. You just got to There you go, another touch. Come on. Could just be starting to happen. Could be. Just, come on. It's almost like it's there, but it's just not taking it. Come on. There you go. Good work, mate. That's good patience. That's you it. saw Ryan there really use patience just to let the fish take the bait down before he struck. 
Mind you, we are fishing like gear, so. And I just saw the cameraman actually stand on a whiting almost there, so it's starting to come into the shallows. What do you got? What do you got? It's down, it's down. It's a whiting. Oh, look at that. How's that? You just got a whiting. Look at that. As you mentioned, Steve, so many people I speak to say, you're getting your yellowfin whiting out in Coburn Sound. I say, no, Swan River. They just don't realise that, whoop, there's so <laughs> much, not. there's so much yellowfin whiting in the Swan River, and yeah, this particular species is only a smaller one, but normally we get them a lot bigger, but that's great. And it's a fisher cast, thing. a fisher cast here in the Swan, it's about, well, uh, yeah, my wristwatch isn't working as well as it should be, but I reckon it's about nine o'clock now, and now they're starting to happen. I'd love a big one, mate. Pop that one back and we'll see what Pop we can do. Pop that one back in. Come on, swim away. Oh. Ooh, here we go, another one, another one. Keeping up our fisher cast action here. I think it might only be small, but what is it? On the surface, ooh, look at that. Have a look at that in the water. Nice work, it's another whiting. Now, a lot of you watching, We'll be sitting there going, I did not realise you can get yellowfin whiting in the Swan River. Yes, you can. The, the river is absolutely full of these things. They're fantastic eating. And some of them can get absolutely enormous. The problem at the moment is getting your baits down past the tar wine and the smaller whiting because uh, there are so many fish here. You just can't, uh, can't get them into yourself.